Hello and welcome to Martin Maths. I'm here to teach my Year 8s and we're looking at square roots, squares, thirds, all involved in uh, actually helping us solve Pythagoras. But we're going to first learn some third laws. So let's look at one example here. Root 36 over 4. Now, if I just look within that square root sign, 36 divided by 4, should know is 9. If we go through my four times table, um, or divide 36 by 4, we know it's 9. And we know the square root of 9 is 3. Now, if we look at the square root of 36 divided by the square root of 4 separately, well, the square root of 36, we know is 6. The square root of 4 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. That's the same. So we can generalize that to say that the square root of a over b is root a over root b. So if we're given an answer question like that, we can divide the two numbers under the square root sign first. Okay, let's look at some multiplication. Let's say we've got 25 times 4. And we know 25 times 4 is 100. We know the square root of 100 is 2. Sorry, is 10. Then if we look at root 25 times root 4, well, square root of 25 is 5, square root of 2, square root of 5 is 4, is 2. So 5 times 2 is 10 as well. So those two are equal. So then we can generalize that, same way that we generalize that, to say that root a root b equals root a b. So there we go. That's two third laws that are my year eights are going to use in some more questions. To my class now, please do use these to tackle those questions in the textbook, and we'll continue uh, in the next lesson. Thanks for watching.